Is your life and your work fulfilling? Because bottom line, we are here living this experience on planet Earth. And if we're going to go through all the trials and tribulations of being here, shouldn't we at least enjoy the things that we do? I know that often, even in my life, uh, you know, you are different ages and you learn different things at different ages and you put up with certain things that you used to put up with before that you don't put up with when you're older. So it's all a factor of where you are in your life and really what's acceptable to you and what is not acceptable to you and really do you live within your own parameters. I mean, we might say something's acceptable or not acceptable, but then we settle or we let things slide or we let things happen that tell us otherwise. So I help you understand your life so you can gain the clarity and the confidence to make the best decisions and create the life that you really want. One that's fulfilling, one that is whatever it is that you want in your life. Like, how do you wanna feel in your life? At the end of the day, how do you wanna feel about your day? At the end of the month, how do you wanna feel about your life overall in that month? And at the end of five or 10 years, how do you wanna feel about the previous five or 10 years? Now, I was talking about this in my light activation healing class today. And if you've been following my vlogs this month, you know that I've been teaching my light activation healing class. I did level one through three, that's one class, and I just finished with the mastery class, which is amazing. It's, um, it's really a medical intuitive class, but super in depth and also really, really deep, excellent clairvoyance training. So by the time people get into the mastery program, they're already using all their other gifts of intuition like hearing, feeling, knowing, and seeing. So they already know how to do those things, but the mastery level is, it just happens to be that the clairvoyance is what we use, and so it really takes your clairvoyance like to the top. Like these healing practitioners, these mastery level, they are cream of the crop healing practitioners, honestly. So I was talking to them today about, about how we have different phases in our life. And you know, things change as different generations go on and, and as our countries evolve. But in general, we spend about the first half of our life doing life the way we think it's supposed to be done. Now that's even changing, but what it has been and what it was when I was going through the first part of my life was you go to school, hopefully you go to college, um, you end up being in a re relationship, having, you know, getting married, having kids, having the house, doing that whole thing. And then around whatever, it's a different age, it could be 45, 55, um, your kids grow up and now it's like you are going to live your new life. You're going to live the second part of your life, which is going to be different from the first, first part of your life. Now, just seeing my clients and you know my students, I have some that are like 25, they're young and wow, they're gonna have like just amazing lives just because they've started this path so young. So it's gonna be different for them, for them because they're actually going to start living a fulfilled path right off the bat. They're not going, you know, they might have the family and all that stuff, but it's gonna be done in a different way. So that's super cool. They came in at a wonderful time in the evolution of where we are in our world right now to be able to do that. Basically, the gist is we want to live a life that's fulfilling and something that we enjoy. We're not here just to suffer and have a job and pay bills and go along the treadmill until we die, right? I was thinking about that right now as I was sitting here just doing some work after teaching for eight days solid. It's a lot to teach healing classes for eight days solid. It's very intense. And so you have to 
you know, keep up with your energy and be able to handle doing that for eight days. I feel like I've been here teaching for a month. That's how intense it is. That's how much we go through in only eight days. And now I'm packing because tomorrow we're driving up to Mount Shasta and leading a Mount Shasta spiritual journey. Everybody will show up the house tomorrow night and then the next morning we start our transformational journey. And we always work on transformation, meaning people come with an idea of what they'd like to find out about themselves or what they can shift in their lives or what they can let go of that's been really keeping them behind in their life or, or making them feel stuck or just trying to figure stuff out, okay? But our big focus is moving past our biggest fears. So whenever we do these spiritual journeys and we're going to all these places, it happens to be Mount Shasta, sometimes it's Bimini in the Bahamas, sometimes it's Mexico, Peru, Egypt, India. Oh yeah, we have a Hawaii trip actually coming up this, uh, when is it, this October. So if you wanna get in on that, it's going to be a small group and we're gonna to stay together in a house and work with the energy. So if you're really interested in some kind of transformational experience, the Hawaii one's really awesome. It's a shorter one, it's about a week. And then Shasta's three days, and then the other ones in other countries tend to be a little longer. So anyway, we are always working on shifting something, but of course we have fun doing it. So we work with energy in specific areas that's going to help move and shift things in within us so by the time we leave we've gotten to a new place of being and then we can take that and move forward in our life so it's just so life-changing and so amazing so now going back to i worked for eight days teaching now i'm going to drive to shasta tomorrow and then it'll be a three-day journey and then i actually don't get home till september 1st so we don't have any days off. We're just working solid all the way through. But what I can say is I was think, sitting here working and I was thinking, I'm so glad that I have a job that I love, that's fulfilling, that it's something that's meaningful to me. So even though I'm working every day, it's something that is natural to me, it's meaningful to me, and I see how I help people shift their perspectives in their lives to such a better place, no matter if I'm teaching a class or I'm taking them on a spiritual journey. And that's really highly fulfilling to me. So it's not like just going to any job. So this video is about that. It's like, where are you in your life? Do you do work that's fulfilling to you? Now, I used to work in corporate America. I used to have a normal job and I was climbing the corporate ladder and I was really good at it and I loved it. But when I found out that I was interested in like doing intuitive healing and that kind of work, I started getting interested in it. So I started saying, well, you know, what is this? First, I started actually making crystal jewelry. I always knew that I was gonna work my way to a certain level and then when I'd get to that level, I'd take the next level. So it's not really levels, it's like the things I did. So I started making crystal jewelry and making uh, essential oil blends. And so I was doing that stuff and then I started doing readings and healings and then I started teaching and then doing journeys. So I had this ongoing evolution of my work. And now I'm at the point where I know pretty much what I love, really love doing out of all those things and now I'm just focusing on that. So when I left my job, it was like, now my work is my life, okay? It's not like, okay, I don't have a life, but my work is who I am. So I'm always doing my work, no matter what, okay? So it is, I'm in sync, I'm in flow with who I am. And I don't have to go, necessarily go work for anybody. I work for God, creator higher my higher power so I will always have work because but God needs helpers to to help talk to people and get messages through okay so 
it's very fulfilling. So what I'm asking you is, is your work fulfilling? Is your life fulfilling? Everybody's here for a purpose. Everybody's here to share their natural state of being with other people. And I would love to see everybody doing that. So that is also a big part of my work in helping you understand yourself so you can gain the clarity and the confidence to make the best decisions to create the life that's going to be fulfilling, enjoyable, whether it's something where it feels peaceful or fun or healthy or exciting. Whoever you are, whatever you are made up of, you're meant to share that beingness with the world. So yeah, everybody can do this. Everybody is, I would say everybody's meant to do it, but it's everybody's path. And if people don't want to tap into that, if people want to think that, you know, life has to suck or it's hard and you got to go work for someone and you, you know, you have to do it the regular old way. Well, that's a belief system. So I'm not going to say you shouldn't be doing that, but I will tell you that I live my life every day just doing what I am, who I am. And doing that, I feel like my life is more flowing and more open and I can be receptive and I can really enjoy life because I'm in sync and flow with who I am and my parameters that I set up for myself, I stay within them because it's me doing me. I'm not having somebody tell me what to do for eight hours, nine hours a day and telling me when I can go on vacation and how much money I can make. I can tell myself that. So I encourage you, if that sounds interesting to you, that you start thinking about how you could make that happen for yourself because you can. And like I said, I help you understand yourself so you can gain the clarity and confidence to make the best decisions to create that life. And that's what my spiritual journeys are all about. And my classes, you know, they bring you this empowerment and this, this laser focus and clarity of this is what I'm meant to do and this is what brings me joy. And I know that this is just opening my life in huge ways. And I know Light Activation does that for all my students. They, they take it and they go off and they're successful in their lives and the growth continues to happen. And then, the really cool thing is that we have our community. So those that come and study with me or do the spiritual journeys, we end up creating this community and it's so awesome to have these connections and our brothers and sisters together to encourage us, to support us, to brainstorm and together we can keep rising and rising and rising in who we are doing the best we can and then just beaming out into the world this energy to um, support others and yeah, just keep it going. So I'm just feeling really blessed today to be doing who I am. And I really wish for everyone that you can all do who you are. So be who you are do who you are, and sometimes you're not really sure what that means, but that's why you seek people out that can help you with that. And I've been doing this for so many years. Obviously, I know how to do it, and uh, I do it well. I am proof that you can do it. I am proof that I know how to do it. I know what it takes. I know what you need to do. I know where your mindset needs to be to make all those things happen. So since I've been through it several times myself, who else is more qualified but somebody who has done it and then demonstrates that to those around them. So I just really wanted to come on here and talk about this because I think it's super important. And I am going to play a little clip of my mastery class. So this afternoon, we're going to, to have you Say what you want to work on, like whether it's a physical thing, an emotional thing, a mental thing, a spiritual thing, like some thing. DNA. You know how DNA has three different sessions, right? And they use different frequencies. 
So you're gonna demonstrate the first one and tell us what frequencies, and then Denise is gonna demonstrate the second one and which frequencies, and Crystal's gonna do the third one and which frequencies. Just so we can have a reminder because joining me for beta day 27 woohoo and that's vlog every day in August if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and click that bell that notification bell because it'll tell you when I'm live or I uploaded a video and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you love this video share it Thank you. And tomorrow we'll be traveling to Shasta, so I'll probably do a live stream vlog somewhere along the way, maybe in the car or something. And so the next vlog should be kind of interesting because we will be in the house with the people on the journey and we'll see how that all rolls out. So thanks for being here. See you tomorrow. And as usual, peace out.